Hello YouTube uh, and welcome to friends. So my name is Surfosh and today on Yas Heat Lab Guides we're gonna be driving the Lambo Hurricane Evo 2 around Paul Ricard. Uh, uh, the polarizing circuit, you love it or you hate it, I feel like there's no in between. Uh, luckily for me I'm definitely on the loving it part. Um, I think uh, this circuit provides quite a unique challenge in the sim. We don't really have many circuits like this. And once you get your practice in, it's quite enjoyable to drive. And uh, uh, on top of that, uh, this is definitely a circuit that in most circuits or most uh, communities isn't really the most popular. So if you learn how to drive here, you can really uh, outperform your usual results as people really dislike to practice this circuit. And it is for the reason of this massive straight here. Um, Definitely not the most fun way to spend your time when you're trying to practice on top of uh, how easy it is to invalidate your laps because the runoff is all concrete so you're not really afraid to go and abuse the track limits to be their maximum. Uh, so practicing here quite tedious but once you get it, uh, once you get your bearings around the circuit it's quite an actually fun racetrack and it also provides quite a unique challenge when it comes to making the setup as you have to balance the very heavy aero dependent sector 3 and sector 1 with uh, the massive straight of course uh, so yeah very unique circuit and I like it for it. It also provides some of the best, if not the best racing on the whole calendar. So that's another reason to like it over uh, uh, countless uh, tight, twisty, narrow tracks that we have in the sim. Let's talk about braking points though. For turn one, lining up on the right, braking just before we get off the curb here on the right side. And down shifting down to second gear. I uh, want to keep a tight line for the first one, so you get a better exit for turn two. Uh, and then for the second chicane, we're breaking just after the 100 meters. Uh, board and a line. A little tap of the brakes here. There's no real reference for this, but I would suggest focusing the exit here, uh, as you will carry that speed for quite a bit longer. Uh, easy on the throttle here. Uh, don't want to be uh, ruining this exit as at least the longest straight out there. And for the main straight, not really much to say here. Obviously, try not weave too much. Uh, and if you're driving by yourself, just uh, shorten the racing line, hit your upshifts. Uh, what do you think of Paul Ricard, though? Love it? You hate it? I feel like there's no in between on this circuit. Um, for this corner, braking just when the curb starts fifth gear can coast the car for quite a lot don't want to touch those flaps on the outside as that will invalidate your lap time immediately can keep the car in third gear here uh, braking point for this corner is actually quite abstract and generally down to experience here we're braking at the second cone if the cones are destroyed that's also on experience more than anything else and then for the last corner sequence we're breaking just at the curbs and here uh, trying to carry some speed and we're breaking at one of those little markers on the right that are gonna be your best references but generally when the road straightens out it's basically time to break a lot of really abstract markers in the last sector which is probably one of the reasons why um, people dislike to practice this track. Uh, some of the braking references are really tricky here and generally rely more on experience than than anything else. All right, so here's our setup. Uh, quite a bit of positive toe on the rear. Uh, our usual steering ratio at 13. A bit stiffer car than usual, quite a bit stiffer car than usual. A very uh, soft rear apart from the wheel rate. You really don't want to be running. All the springs basically decrease your top speed. So the less you run, the better. But at the same time, having some stability uh, in the third and first sector is nice. Uh, our standard dampers here, uh, a bit more rebound on this. Do not have that crazy oversteer on throttle. Uh, and when it comes to aero, we're running four wing gear uh, with 66 rear ride height. Uh, can probably go a bit more aggressive for the actual quality set, but this seems to work pretty well. Uh, so that is what I've been driving. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll leave you off with a hot lap and see you on the next one.